With two consecutive successes of exo-atmosphere tests, intercepts of ballistic missile targets fired from an Aegis cruiser at sea, testing proceeds to the sixth test, FM-4. Now the target flies a threat representative profile, presenting the team and test ship with a greater challenge, intercept in the ascent. The primary challenge and objective of FM-4? That a Navy crew operating the Aegis weapon system with its SM-3 guided missile can engage and intercept the target in its ascent phase with a short reaction time. As in previous tests, Lockheed Martin, the Aegis Combat System Engineering Agent for the Navy's Program Executive Office for Integrated Warfare Systems, coordinated activities across the FM-4 team to ensure program success. November 18, USS Lake Erie CG-70 with its officers, crew, and the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Test Team depart Pearl Harbor, Hawaii for the Pacific Missile Test Range. Some five months have passed since the success of the last sea-based missile defense test, FM-3. Now, the captain and crew, along with the government civilian test team, get ready for their latest challenge, flight mission FM-4. 200 miles off the Hawaiian island of Kauai, 100 miles closer to the launch point than in previous tests, CG-70 Aegis Cruiser USS Lake Erie awaits the target firing. On the PMRF launch pad, the TTV-5 test target, an Ares ballistic missile, undergoes final countdown. Ship's force, using the Aegis weapon system, sets up a spy radar search sector for the ballistic missile, preparing for target engagement with their SM-3 missile. All stations got badge release, business green, break control, control An aft-looking video camera mounted on the outside of the Ares target provides a unique view as it climbs above the atmosphere and into space. The Aegis weapon system detects the target as it breaks the radar horizon while still in its boost phase. As the spy radar transitions to target track, a fire control solution for Ares target intercept is quickly calculated by the Aegis weapon system and provided to the operator. All station control, fireball track 1005. For the short period after target detection, the Aegis weapon system continuously updates its fire control solution while the SPY-1 radar tracks the target before SM-3 launch. CSC is initiating the engagement order to the Aegis combat system to fire the missile. Attack control, killing track, 1005 first. Within seconds, the SPY-1 radar system acquires and tracks the SM-3 missile. Shortly afterwards, the booster burns out and separates. Acceleration commands are computed by the Aegis weapon system and transmitted to the SM-3 missile via SPY radar uplink message data, keeping it on a target intercept path. As the SM-3 flies toward the target, three important steps occur. The second stage burns out and separates. The Aegis weapon system provides the missile with both the missiles and the target's position and velocity data. And the missile uses that data to perform the first of two pulse burns. This first pulse occurs when the missile is in the exo-atmosphere, increasing the missile's velocity and directional control. While coasting, the missile performs a pitch maneuver and ejects the nose cone. Nose cone eject. Next, the second pulse burn performs the final velocity increase and course correction, placing the missile on a collision course with the target. At completion of the second pulse burn, 
The third stage, attitude control, orients the missile. KW battery activate. KW jet. Now the kinetic warhead, or KW, separates from the third KW stage, KW. stabilizes its attitude, points to the line of sight to target, and acquires target's image using its infrared seeker. Because of spy radar accuracy, the Aegis weapon system is able to put the target dead center in the SM-3's field of view. The kinetic warhead impacts the Ares target at a new aim point. It's another direct target hit for the third time in three tests. Three for three. Here is a slow motion replay of the target impacted by the KW. This view recorded by the Halo Airborne System shows the SM-3's third stage rocket motor, or TISRAM, is clearly visible. Here is the KW. Traveling upward from the bottom of the screen is the Ares target. The flash is evidence of the KW impacting the target. Moments after intercept, spy radar begins initiating track on numerous debris objects, providing an Aegis real-time indication that intercept has been achieved. For FM4, the primary test objective is accomplished. Hit the target in its ascent phase, bringing a new direction to Aegis ballistic missile defense testing. Another success in bringing the Aegis ballistic missile defense effort further down the path, providing a ballistic missile defense system, including a sea-based Aegis component, available to the world and our people to preserve the peace.